Good afternoon, guys. All right, we're all sparkly. Just a follow-up video on the previous one. Super physiological testosterone levels. Say that three times really fast. Um, as you guys know, I've shared my protocol with you. It's 12.5 milligrams of test sip and 100 IU of HCG daily. That gets my total testosterone to around 35 and my free testosterone to anywhere between 0.6 and 0.8, depending on my SHBG. Sometimes my dose has to be lowered a little bit. Why? Because my hematocrit rises. Now I do have obstructive sleep apnea, so this may be a co-founding factor, but if my sleep apnea is sorted with CPAP, and my hematocrit has risen as a result of my testosterone being too high, that means my levels are too high for me at the time. This is why you need careful titration of dose according to effect by somebody that understands physiology. Somebody that understands a little bit more than just saying up the dose to resolve your symptoms because that is frankly absurd. And I think we all know that really. So, as I've said, your dose is carefully titrated according to effect. Now I do have guys on as much as 25 milligrams of test sip, plus or minus HCG, and as little as five milligrams of test sip and HCG. Why? Because the HCG is producing intratesticular testosterone and we are merely optimizing their levels with exogenous testosterone. This is the principle by which we adhere to at the Men's Health Clinic. We want to mimic natural physiology. We want to recreate the HPG axis. We want to maintain as much natural intratesticular testosterone production as possible and utilize testosterone to optimize your levels. Why? That should be common sense. I don't like the idea of atrophied testicles. Now, you can be very happy with atrophied testicles. You don't need HCG, but it's not gold standard. Why? Now we know that HCG mimics luteinizing hormone. And luteinizing hormone is the primary hormone that tells the testicles to produce testosterone. We also know there are LH receptors in the brain. So you can kind of understand we want to stimulate them. And HCG will help stimulate the LH receptors in the brain. That's why lots of guys report an improved sense of well-being and libido on HCG. There is a small cohort of patients that don't get on with HCG. And I believe that's due to excess neurostimulation from the HCG. So you need careful titration of your dose according to effect by a clinician who understands physiology, who will act in your best interests, who will take responsibility for your care. You can just go on the internet and ask for advice you will receive said advice. That advice is being given to you by somebody that does not know you, only knows that short snippet about yourself that you've written. They do not know your personal medical history. They do not know your circumstances. They do not know what's best for you. They cannot be objective because they clearly do not have the skill set to be objective. Well, what worked for me? Well, I read this paper. I read an abstract and picked the very sentence that confirmed my bias. And now I'm applying it to you. That doesn't make sense, does it? So, super physiological testosterone levels. You might want to have high levels. But when you have high levels you'll understand that the premise behind TRT is what? Maintaining normal physiological levels 
for long-term physical and psychological well-being. We don't want to be high, we want to be normal. We want to fight and fornicate. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, I'll take that back. We want to have the ability to fight and fornicate. Okay. We want <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We want to be cool, calm and collected. We want to have a perspective that is considered. So, hello Dex. Um, don't be like the D's. Normal levels earn your reward. What have I done today with my normal levels? I've been to the sea. I've jumped in like a lunatic with my cold swimming. I've been to the gym. I've run the dogs. I'm about to go and clear some emails and I'm about to do some DIY. I don't need high levels to be optimized. I want to wake up, choose to be positive, choose to see that glass as half full, not half empty. I want to earn my reward.